प्रियो इन दिस सेशन वी कंसिडर न्यूटन लॉ ऑफ कूलिंग एक्चुअली दिस पार्ट इज डिस्कस हियर एज एन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ स्टीफन लॉ ऑफ ब्लैक बॉडी रेडिएशन एक्चुअली दिस स्टीफन बॉर्ड्स मैन लॉ यूर स्टडी टाइम सो वॉट इज न्यूटन लॉ ऑफ कूलिंग द कूलिंग लॉ स्टेट्स दैट the rate at which a body is getting cooled is directly proportional to the difference in temperature between the body and its surroundings once again the rate at which a hot body is getting cooled is directly proportional to the difference in temperature between the hot body and its surroundings suppose that the hot body temperature is let us say cavity t in the absolute state and surroundings temperature is t0 then it is said that the rate of cooling rate of cooling i can take it as d q by dt okay the small heat energy released with respect to time will be directly proportional to t minus t0 this is what the newton's law of cooling states now how this condition can be obtained using stefan's boltzmann's law that is what we want to discuss now according to the black body emission and what you call the kirchhoff's rule kirchhoff's law in black body emission we have the condition that the energy emitted per second energy emitted per second is equal to let us say e by t that's equal to epsilon into a into sigma into t raised to 4 minus t0 raised to 4 this is a formula we study as per what we call stefan's boltzmann's law okay so here capital t is the temperature of the hot body and t0 is the temperature of the surroundings actually this law is or this equation is derived based on what we call black body emission but this is not written for black body it is for any body you can say this is emissivity this is area of the surface of the body and sigma stefan's constant okay now using this formula rate of cooling can be equal to energy emitted per second that is dq by dt can be equated to what e by t energy emitted per second therefore therefore the formula can be written as dq by dt e by t and taking it equal to what you say dq by dt because as the body cools down it is releasing heat energy continuously and that release of energy per time this is what you call rate of cooling so this will be equal to epsilon the emissivity into area of the body into sigma into t raised to 4 minus t0 raised to 4 Now this can be equated to epsilon into a into sigma into t square all square minus 
T0 square T0 square whole square so mathematical adjustment so this can again be written as epsilon into A into sigma into T square plus T0 square into T square minus T0 square a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. Okay? Now, this can again be written as epsilon into a into sigma into this one you take it as it is, so they can be said with that. Okay? But this can again be written as t plus t0 into t minus t0. Alright. Now suppose that the temperature of the body and the surrounding temperature, when you compare, the value of T and T0 are very close to each other. That the difference is very small. If the difference is very small, I can consider this T square plus T0 square or I can approximate that. P almost equal to P0. If I do this approximation for this part, what I am getting here is, let us say, let us consider that approximation and we get that dQ by dt is equal to epsilon into a into sigma into so I am applying the approximation here that t square plus t0 square the t and t0 are almost equal therefore therefore I can consider this as t0 2 times t0 square for this part and for this part I can take it as 2 T0 okay into T minus T0 now what I am saying is that dQ by dt therefore will be equal to epsilon into A into sigma into 4 T0 Q into T minus T0 Okay. Now this can be written as dQ by dt therefore will be equal to I am taking the whole thing as a constant because epsilon, you see the of the body constant, area constant, sigma constant, T0 approximated to the surrounding temperature constant and the form. Again we get that to be a constant k into t minus t0. So finally what we are getting is dq by dt directly proportional to t minus t0 that is the difference in temperature between the body and the surroundings. Okay. So then I am defining once again, Newton's law of cooling says that the rate of cooling of a body is directly proportional to the difference in temperature between the body and its surroundings provided the difference is too small. Okay. So this is how we are applying Stephen's Boltzmann's law in finding what you say or in obtaining Newton's law of cooling, the condition of Newton's law of cooling. This is an approximate method. The actual method is integration method that we are not discussing here. We are taking this Newton's law of cooling at this point as an application of what we call Stephen's Boltzmann's law.